What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Walking Dead! Yes, I'm returning to it folks. I'm going to be doing episode 5, uh, episode 4 I mean, episode 4. Okay, and play. This is where we finished off, right here, around every corner. I have no idea what to expect with this, but I'm so excited. Here we go folks. Oh, here we go. I have no idea what to expect. I think this is going to be awesome. But if, if, as we last saw, folks, in episode 3 at the end, it was a cliffhanger. And I also want to state this. For those who are still angry, a little Previously pissed off... Or, wait. on The Walking Dead. Here we go. Shut up, Carly! Ugh, I've heard enough out of you! Now, what the fuck's the problem? Oh! Oh, we have to relive that? I'm gonna kill you. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. We should have raped I was trying to protect all of us. Holy shit! She's stealing the RV! I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. She is gonna make it! What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Oh yeah, this is the most Just put me into it, man. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay, and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. You son What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? Yes. No way! You son of a- <laughs> I remember yeah! I pushed him. <laughs> oh, zombie, zombie, zombie. Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you'd be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need- Who the fuck? I don't know. Who was that? But I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out. Yeah, that's not a good sign. As I was saying, folks, for those who saw in episode two, was it? I think it was episode two. Uh, those who saw my decision of changing the story when I killed Larry and decided in the other part, I decided to spare him. I know what that says. Um, please forgive me. This at th From this point on, I will tell you what I would actually would have done in this situation. I would have actually killed Larry in this situ given that situation, okay? So don't hate me. If it was, if I, if it was me in that situation. But don't worry, now you know what I was talking about, and now what I'm doing, so here we go, we gotta play the game. Play the game, everybody play the game. Alright, here we go. It is a deserted town, and Jefferson Street. <laughs> I heard... It is definitely a deserted town, wow. Oh, there's a stop sign. You better stop. Yep. Dude, you, you gotta stop. There's a stop sign. Why are you not stopping? <laughs> You're still alive. Oh, yeah, he's limping. I forgot. Okay. Hey. What, what, why are you stopping, Clementine? Keep up. There we go. Hold my hand, Clementine. <laughs> okay. Can't I just hold it? Uh oh. Uh no, you can't hold it because. Uh, Just not for now. a little while. Not now. We're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can. Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Yes. Okay. Yes, trust me on this, Clementine. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. That's not I'm good. Fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Yes, he needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther? Kenny. How much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. Okay, and there'll buddy. be boats there? It sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Oh, sorry, Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. Wait. What the hell? Uh-oh. That is not a good sign. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Well, that's a Keep good sign. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? <laughs> oh, someone's up there! There was someone there. Are you sure? Ninja man! I don't see anything. I saw a ninja. I, I know what I saw. I'm telling you, there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! Yes. If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. Uh -oh. I thought you said that thing didn't work. You know what? Shut up, woman. Are you in the tower? Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? 
that's not a good sign. Yeah, I, maybe I should listen to that crazy voice person thingy. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Maybe. It sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? Uh. It tolls for thee. Oh god. Uh, oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. No, 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 no. No, this is not good. No. Oh my god. It looks like Billy. No, okay. Get out of here, Billy. Well, time for the church. Head for the church. Run! Everybody, run! Up that way! Ooh, nice. Nice shot. Oh god. Run! Run! Hold my hand, Clementine. Oh, nice shot, old man. Oh, Kenny! Yeah, Kenny! Boy, you! Little too close, don't you think? Yes. No, Ben, help her! Oh. You son of a bitch! God damn it! I should have saved her when I had that chance. Damn it! I'm just stupid. I'm sorry, folks. Move your asses! River Street's right up ahead! That's not all. Oh, are you serious? I'll give me a fucking break! Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh, snap! Jesus. Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. Yeah, we gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go. Now! Uh, I'll be fine. Just go! I'm gonna have to. You'll be fine. I, I, but if he says so, I suppose. Is that... Okay. I'll get the door. I trust the man, I suppose. Ah! Oh, his leg's not doing good. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, that's gonna get infected. We've got to get him inside. Clean him up. Okay. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. I'll find a way in. Let me see if I can find us a way in. Yeah, I'll find a way in. All right, let me talk to Clementine. Sorry for say not saving you, Clementine. I tried to help you. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No. No, they didn't see us. No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. It better be. I feel safer when we're inside the house. Yeah, I'm gonna talk with the whole team. Oh, Maiden Krista. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. Oh God. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Indeed. <laughs> we'll take care of it. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. You Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. I'm just hey, talking. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just talking to the team is all. Oh, let me. I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Yeah. About Clementine, we need to talk, buddy. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. Oh. I hear you. You think think we can get that window open? Think we can get the windows open? Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. 
Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Oh, yes. Yeah, looks pretty solid. About Kenny. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right, you just stay all there. Right. And if you leave Clementine behind again, I'm going to beat your ass. Because trust me, I'm an evil man. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. Let me talk to Kenny. How are you holding up? Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now <laughs> is gonna help us get inside this house. <laughs> think anyone is inside? You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Yeah, nice place point. to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Intru indeed. How's the door coming? How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. I'll look around, let's see. Damn. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. Mm. Gotta look around. There's gotta be something. No, don't you hint to me, Vince, folks. Don't you hint to me. I want to figure it out. Ooh, dirt mound. Looks like something was buried here. The doghouse. It's the doghouse. Must be the dog that was buried. I feel sorry for that dog now. Bird. Oh, no, not Dirt Mound, sorry. Uh, but Fountain. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Okay, shovel. Yes. A shovel is never not useful. You know, that's actually one of the best quotes I've heard of yet. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. No way I'm gonna be Damn able it. to bust through that. To What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? <laughs> I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio-controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. <laughs> well, to me, All right, it's... so... Where's the dog? Oh, boy. Yep, I figured it out. All right, doggy, here I come. I'm coming to unbury you. You better not be a, a zombie dog. Or hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. No, Clementine, don't get near me. Please don't get near me. What's buried down there? Stay away. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Ovi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? No, trust me, you... Oh, God, the smell. Sometimes I have to do the mean thing and do the right thing. Must have belonged to someone. I'm scared if I reach my hand in there, it's gonna attack me. Oh, God. Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Whew. Hopefully that thing doesn't come alive when I'm in big doo-doo. I don't need that anymore. Nope. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. No, you know what we can do? use it for? We can use it for something else. Let me talk to Clementine. She might be hurt. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. All right, you stay safe then, all right, baby? Why did I call her baby? You stay safe, all right, Clemmy? Clemmy, if you... Don't worry, you'll be fine. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. 
Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Oh, Clementine! Clem, are you okay? Say something! Uh-oh. Ta-da! Yay! Good job, Clem. Good job, Clem. Yay! Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you, you did. did. You did <laughs> and we were thinking the Can same. We maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. <laughs> He's like, Looks okay from here. Everybody in. You'll be fine, buddy. You'll be fine. Uh oh. A little worried. Man, this house is really sealed up and it's really nice too. Uh oh, there's the family. Uh, sorry, sorry, family, that sorry. we. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. That must be the family. Sorry that we have to go into your house, family, but we have no other choice. We have to do what we have to so, do. So, when were you going to tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest I of us? I only found it yesterday. Literally. I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Yes. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In they're stalking noticed, us. That's the only logical folks answer, folks. I think it they're stalking us. The dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. Indeed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. Omid. I thought it was Omid. We need to go fo- I agree with Kenny. I'm with Kenny on that. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Indeed, buddy. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. All right, here we go. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Kristen and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. Trust me on this, Clem. They need to make sure- they need to be safe and okay. What's in here? All empty. Well, that's weird. Why would everything be empty unless they were able to get everything out in time? Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. First off, let me look. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Okay. Let's check the door. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Well, we do need to find Chuck as well. He did save uh, Clem, so I should have said that, but I can't do it. I can't change my mind now. Nothing. Water's off. Power's out. No power. That's not good. What's that? My dog Walter. <sighs> Sorry, Walter. God damn, even the fridge is empty. 
There's no food in this house. And that's my timer, folks, so I have to cut the video off right here. So thank you very much for watching, and to the next. Okay, bye-bye.